Hello, friends. How are we doing? Yeah, pardon my eyes. Allergies are terrible right now. Killing me. Do, do, do. Let's hold up. Let's see here. Oh, we got a lot of people in here. Looks like somebody already joined the Low Buck Club. I appreciate that, as always. Of course. Oh, goodness. All right, we got 154 people in here already. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, yeah, we hit 100,000 subs, and I have a couple hours to kill. So uh, I just got done shooting the video on the Le Mans. So I figured I'd... Uh, Stop in here and, you know, instead of just scrolling through Marketplace on my own, why not scroll through with you guys? So. Ah, let's see here. Let's see here. Huh? Richard Cramp, it's a F and 100 degrees out. Yeah. It's hot as hell up here. I just got done putting the suspension in the Lamonds, got it driving. The freaking U of I stuff is awesome, but um, the uh, you know I think I found a plug in it racing a Mustang actually, or something, or I wounded it badly. I don't know. I don't really want to go look at it right now. So. <laughs> Okay, what's the deal with the Bud Light thing? I mean, I get it. They had the the dude or whatever on the can, but uh, okay, I've never drank Bud Light. This is a Bush Light. Same parent company. Wrong beer. The comments are just full of people like, <laughs> I'm hilarious. You're drinking Bud Light. Well, you must be one of them fancy guys. No, no, it, it's, it's, a, it's a different beer. Anyway, hey, thank you, one man shop. Yeah, I, there's nothing wrong with drinking Bush Light. There's nothing wrong with drinking whatever you want to drink. I mean, you can get mad about whatever you want. I, I don't know. I'm not gonna. So. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, let me see. Find a way to how to get my my windows organized here a little bit. Uh, yeah, this will work. Try to be able to see the chat and the crackheads at the same time. Sometimes they're the same. Mm -hmm. Doo -doo. Oh no, God, I have so computer. I'm sorry, you guys don't know what's going on. It's okay. I'm sorry. I, I just, I'm trying. I'm, I'm failing. Oh God. I, come on, Windows. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, what I'll do is this. Aha. Look at that. All right. Well, anyway, I, you know, like everybody, you know, I just kind of scroll through Marketplace all day, every day, and that's how I find all these cars or you know, anybody who buys crap, this is how you find it, right? There's no Craigslist anymore, really. It sucks. Oh, my God. No. No. Stop. Thank you. All right. So. So, yeah, I was looking at this Nova already. It, 74 Nova SS. And it, it's got the stripes and everything. 
But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. No title, no engine, no trans, everything's in, I mean, it looks like it was probably a chicken coop. Good enough deal, though. Make a hell of a race car. It's not even that rusty. I don't know. Not something I, like, desperately want, though. Now, this... Now that's pretty, that's something right there. Runs and yard drives. Where? Wisconsin? Now. I'm not driving to Wisconsin for that. How about this? Look at that. Yes. Bradley. A, it's a Bravely. No, it's a Bradley. Has the motor in the tyranny there. Yep. Words are hard. Cool. I'd like to have one of these, except for the Volkswagen part. They'd be pretty cool. 350 Pontiac right there. Uh, do -do. I've been trying to buy this one because it's close to me, but they gave $2,500 for this pile. And they won't take any less than 2500 bucks, but the tree's free. So, you know, something. But uh, I was like, I'll, I'll give you a grand. I mean, look at the amount of mud in this quarter right here. And the rust hole that's in the middle of the quarter. There's like half of the quarter panels just broke it off of it. They got screwed buying it for 2500 bucks, And now they want to pass it on for 2500 bucks. So they'll be keeping that forever. Hmm. Uh, do I need a boat? Probably not. What do I need to? I need to search for something. What are we looking for? What are we after today? Oh, that Mustang would not be eight grand in Jersey. That Mustang's as bad as anything in Jersey. What should I look for? Somebody tell me. First one I see. A Jag? Okay. A Jag. To the Jag. All right. Man, I mean, they're just so cool. I like the Jags. Look at that thing. I mean, come on. How do you not like that? That's a beautiful car. Oh, I should mention, I uh, I did buy a uh, V12 Jag to try to get running. So, uh, I did actually buy another XJS with the V12, because I wanted to see what the V12 is like. I gave 500 bucks for it. <laughs> so this one, I've seen this one around. It's got a small block swapped into it, I guess. It's in the hood, but, you know. God, I mean, that's just, that's not as cool, though, to me. It's kind of ugly. Hmm. Jig. Jigs. Oh, here we go. Running parts car. Motor is cracked somewhere, letting coolant flow into exhaust manifold. It's called a head gasket. Nice car, though. Ooh, look at the seats in that one. Dang. Uh, let's see here. Anyway, let's see. Probably not enough jigs. Uh, I've, I've had enough of jigs. How about, uh, how, yeah, Nova. Nova sounds all right. Yeah, type in Nova and 65 Fairlane pops up. That's Facebook for you. No way. Thirty-two fifty for a sixty-nine Nova, sitting since seventy-nine. Uh, no key. Can't figure out how to turn the wheels without a key. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> Three hundred seven gonna need a lot of work. Clean title. Wow, that thing's not bad. I mean, it looks like you got, you know, 
hit by jigsaw down the side of it. Thank you, Liberty's Garage, by the way. That's not a bad deal. Huh. I don't know. Not really my kind of car, though. I'm more of a jag, man. Let's see here. What are you? Oh, great picture. Six-cylinder Nova. Oh, yes. Yes. Picture taken with a 2003 potato camera. Excellent. Oh, oh. Look at that. Look at that. Here, we'll just put, we parked the car over here. Then you see it. No, it's not, not really how that works. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Lots of disco Novas. Not really my cup of tea. 65 Fairlane with 289. Floor pans are gone. But great parts truck. It's not that bad. That's got to be the ugliest Fairlane ever made. Though. I mean, look at the front end. It's like, huh? What? How do we want to design this one, guys? Hmm. How about a rectangle? <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What else we got here? Um, not, not much for Novas around here for some reason. What else would we want? Uh, third gen Camaro? No, uh, uh, not gonna happen ever. Third gen Jeepster Fox? I don't know. What's this thing? Forty-one Jeep Gladiator. No, it's. I mean, it's a Willys pickup. Oh wow. Sitting on a Chevy frame with a four-speed gear drive transfer case. Thirteen hundred bucks. I mean, it's probably on a blazer frame or something. I don't know who's calling me, but I guess I'll have to wait. Nah, oh, man, that's fixable. It'd be fun. That'd be a good Mad Max build. Uh, yeah, eh? eight hundred dollars needs a starter and a windshield. That's pretty good. Again, not really my thing, but it'd be good parts for the Eagle. I don't know. Kind of, kind of interesting. Let's just go by year. See if that was someone important. Oh. Fifty six Chevy two door for four grand. Oh, why? It's a post, but why? That's a good deal. Probably. But, eh. If it was a Ford, I'd be kind of interested, but I'm not a big Tri-5 guy. But a New Yorker. 331 Hemi. And it runs 2250. It's pretty good. We'll need Toad. Uh -huh. I challenge you to that. Listed 17 weeks ago, so you know you could get it cheap. It's a good Hemi, too. It's a pretty good deal. Ooh. Eh? 57 Ranchero. Those are cool. First uh, Katruk right there. I like that. Straight six. That's going to be a 223.6 in that. Terrible engines. Automatic. That's very unusual. Probably. Oh, that's not an automatic. Is it? I didn't even know they would offer an automatic with the six in those years. It is an automatic. Huh. 
kind of surprising. I tried to buy this. It's actually in a video somewhere. You remember? Uh, I tried to buy this exact same car for two thousand dollars down in Springfield, Missouri, and uh, it didn't have a title at the time. And now it mysteriously has acquired a title, and is now four thousand dollars. And the entire floor of this car is missing. It does run, but it's literally non-existent inside. Look, it comes with a kitchen table or something, but. He, he has pictures of all these parts. He doesn't have pictures of the floors that are... There's there's nothing inside of that car. It's worth every bit of two grand, and that's about it. Fifty-eight Studebaker? Wow. That's neat. Like that. I like that a lot. Oh, it's a V8. That's probably their little 289. I like that way too much, actually. I need to quit looking at her or I'm going to end up buying it. That's really cool. Huh. Well, what else we got here? By the way, guys, if you join the uh, Low Buck Club for 99 cents a month, you can see next week's video. Today, I painted the step side, the Silver Dollar Chevy. It's out there. Or you can wait till Friday. Oh, I know what we should look for. JD. So there's one of these for sale, like down the road from me. And, uh, but, uh, there's a 64 T-Bird for sale down right down the road from me. There's no transmission in the car, but it's the right price. But we and JD stopped and looked at it, and uh, he just loved it. He sat inside of it. You know, the interior is really nice in it, and he, he really liked it. And so I've been – I need to maybe think about picking one of these up. I need like a 61 to 6 T-Bird or something. I've always liked them myself, so, you know, that's a – that's a win-win there. That's a decent car. Uh, I mean, the interior's junk, but the one down the road for me for cheap has a nice interior. Probably take two, make one. It's a good title. I'll be damned. Hey, thanks, white floof. Much appreciated. Hmm... 57 Chevy. Ooh, 59 Ford. It's like JD's. 17 grand. Yeah. I've never paid five figures for a car before, and I don't intend to start now. Thanks, easy money, bish. This is cool. 63 Pontiac. It's a four-door, but there's nothing wrong with that. I still like it. it. The engine was stuck, has a 454 Turbo 400 sitting in it. That would have to go away. No Pontiacs without Pontiac power, sorry. These are so cool because of the... Uh, hey, thanks, Engine Light Garage. Thanks for joining up. I appreciate that. 99 cents a month. I mean, you, and you see everything early. But uh, see, the, the steering wheel is Lucite. It's clear plastic. I, that's some reason that's always just fascinated me since I was a kid. That and when you hit the brights in one of these cars, it's a uh, little big chief pops up. You know, Chief Pontiac lights up on the dash. It's the little things that really win me over. Probably the same way they won over people who were buying them back in the day. I mean, look at that dash. It's like you're flying, you know, the freaking Enterprise in this thing or something. You know, and it's it's amazing. I'd like to have that one. Hedgehog6973, thank you. Thank you for joining the Low Buck Club. That's a that's the way that you can become a sponsor of the channel, and I can do as few of the integrations as possible because I don't like to do them. You don't like to watch them, you know, and if we can just self-fund the thing, it'd be even better, right? So 
Whoa, look at the metal flake. No, it's not metal flake, it's just pinstriping. See. I love it though. It's a neat little car. Engine cranks doesn't fire. Five grand? Oh, I didn't even read that part. Never mind. Six cylinder freaking Falcon. Hmm. Oh, look, it's Christine. If that was red, I'd say probably avoid it. $20,000. We found a crackhead. Ding, 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 ding. Crackhead alert. Okay, in what universe is this thing worth 20 grand? I mean, there's two of them. Look at that pile of garbage. Two piles of garbage for twenty thousand dollars. I love, I love the 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 Christine Fury. It's a great car. But what is wrong with you people? Okay, there's a two four M take. That's worth something. It's probably worth more than you would think. I don't know if it's worth twenty thousand dollars. Maybe twenty five hundred. Three? Wow. Uh, just had two people join. Paul Haley, thanks for joining up. But Corey Reed, thank you for joining the Love Buck Club. And now, yeah, it's a massive thing. You're right. Christine is definitely going to come knock it now. Probably going to take me out. Well, that's cool. Look at that. Oh, man, see, I always like it when they have a video. Look at that thing. She's a runner. Has rust and is over 60 years old. <laughs> Fair. Clean title. Running and driving. 235.6 manual transmission. Four grand. Now that's a fair price for a car. It's a four-door, but, you know, four grand? You could hop in that and take the family to the local cruise night, right? You know, that's pretty good. Hey, Mark, thanks for joining up. Much appreciated. Whoa, is that a 66 Chevelle for 3500 Perry, Iowa. It's a post car, but still a two-door. That's a pretty good buy right there. If it's not a total rock pig, looks like somebody had fascinations of driving a, uh, or of turning it into a drag car uh, or something like that, but. That could. Why are there so many bolts sticking through the trunk floor? What has happened to this poor car? I mean, this is cut out for a fuel sump for a fuel cell. Those are drag shocks. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe that's a two thousand dollar car. Thousand dollar car? I don't know. It's hard telling anymore. There's so many crackheads out there. They've actually just, you know, they've like pollinated with the general population now. JY, thanks for joining up. Doc Detroit is uh, actually, uh, Doc Detroit right there is said to me uh, the late model JAG XJS, XJS headlights uh, for the JAG I bought in Phoenix, uh, as well as the wood trim for the dash. Uh, definitely appreciate that out of him. I, I like the oval headlight, the Euro headlight, much better than the ones we were stuck with here. I will do something with the Jag. You guys just wait and see. 55 Packard. Old motor to put a Chevy in, something. See, I wouldn't want that unless it had a Packard in it. You know, I would want the original engine and trans. I'm kind of weird like that. It, if I got a car like that, a Packard, you know, I, I want it to drive like a Packard. I want it to have its personality and its heart. How did I miss what? What did I miss, Thomas? What was it? Hmm? Get back here. I want it. What I miss? DeSoto. Eh, nah, I'm good. They're neat cars, but I, I don't know. Maybe. Bob 
buy a Bentley. Yes. See, I don't know. I'm more of a... Like, this appeals to me. Perfect for LS swap. It's just that easy. No, it's not. All right. Huh. Limo checker cab. What would... What, what, I missed a limousine? I don't know. It was probably expensive. See, here's the difference between me and probably most people. Maybe not even most people, but some people. I don't look at the car first. I look at the price first. And I bet there's a lot of you guys that could probably relate to that, right? That, uh, you know, I, I, I look at the number. Uh, if there's four digits, I'll look a little closer. If it starts with a uh, five and above, I ignore it. <laughs> you know, so this is a car I've wanted for a while. Uh, I'll look at the damn limo. But I, I want a 58 Ford to, to go with JD's car. All right, all right, all right, all right. You guys, it was a checker. Was it? A, it was a checker limo. Oh, I would love a Jensen Interceptor, Jennifer. This thing. What in the name of God would I do with that for eighty-two hundred dollars? <laughs> I mean. I don't know. See, I set a price filter too, Eladar, but I, I don't uh, I don't know if it it seems like I always end up missing out on stuff if I fill it like if I filter something to five grand, well then what if they have it for fifty two hundred? You know, I don't want to miss out on that. Yeah, that would really be uh, uh, something. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't do much for me. I'm sorry. I'm more, I like traditional things, I guess. I don't know. I mean, the Holy Goat is not traditional. So, I like, that's right up my alley. But it's a muscle car. And that, you know, like, I, I like the traditional muscle car. And I like my car's painted you know and i like to make them nice and shiny for the most part but uh it's it's ironic i know considering the amount of garbage you see on this channel but but that is the truth uh yeah and uh who somebody just saw a uh, innocent miscreant is damn right. Any of those uh, stretched vehicles are done by coach conversion companies, and they're just junk. Dude, Leo Fred, can you, will you believe me if I told you I went to the bar a couple nights ago, and there was a guy driving an 84 Supra. I tried to buy it from him, but he wouldn't sell it. How about a Renault? Huh? Do we need some French? Some baguettes? Eh? I can't do French. Sorry. I would See, I can't do the video on the Renault because I wouldn't be able to maintain a French accent. You know, it would be difficult. A VV. I just end up talking like the Borat for the entire video. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, somebody earlier said the Jensen Interceptor. And, man, I would love to find one. I don't think those were ever offered in the States. That thing is foobar. Oh, NPR. Let's go give them a listen. And today in the news, we hate the orange man. And we're going to talk to you for four hours about how much we hate the orange man. Let's see here. 67 Rebel. Four-door running clutch cable broke. I mean, guys, 
I'm sorry. Love, love the uh, four door cars. They're great. But if you have twice the doors, you got half the value. Period. I am sorry. Might offend you a little, you know, but but that's just the way it is, guys. Uh, let's see. Plus one vote for a Borat video. Welcome to Bolt Barn Garage. Today we fix car. In Kazakhstan, car drive you. That's that's not, that's Yakov. My bad. But uh, let's see here. Uh, ooh, 55 Crown Vic. Now that's a car. Oh, God. No. No. Run away, Dalton. Run away now. 67 Fairlane. Hello. Ooh, with a title. Oh, what on earth? Somebody cut the tail panel out of it. Ugh, you idiots. Jennifer, I would love to drive Lada. But thank you, Michael Stimmel, for joining Low Buck Club. Very nice. But I would like very much to have Lada. And little Mother Russia. Kazakhstan. Oh, Kazakhstan. I, I don't know. I don't never actually watched that movie. So. It just kind of developed while Kevin and I and the gang were all up in Wisconsin. It, it just kind of happened. It's just terrible. Yeah, and somebody said something. Was it this lark that somebody said, uh, saw? $400? I mean, it's pretty good. It's about the ugliest damn car you've ever seen, I think, but... Uh, Pretty cool. That'd be a good one to just get running and make a video out of, but it wouldn't be something. See, I'm more of a, I mean, I, I like the drive at home stuff, but I'm, I'm more of a, I'd rather drive home something that I actually want to build, you know, instead of just accumulating a bunch of crap, you know, I, I like to have something neat. Hey, no drive tray and a thousand dollars for this. So that's not worth anywhere near $1,000, but considering it's just sitting on someone's property, I would imagine they'd probably take scrap price for it. That is, so I'm up here, Kansas City. That is quite a ways. It's probably two and a half hours. Not really worth that. Oh, yeah, the uh, 100,000 subscriber special. That was just to get you to click on the video. Sorry. Have a beer with me. I don't know. Alan, I do sell them every now and then. But only when I'm done. I like to build them. That's where I'm happiest is out in the shop putting a car together. I'm, I'm not, like, just getting something running and driving home has no appeal to me, so... I mean, I'll do it occasionally, but I want to at least take it to that next level. You know, I don't want necessarily have to finish everything, but just I want to put my time into it. Oh, let's see here. 65 Le Mans. It's definitely a Le Mans. It's not a goat, but 4500 bucks. No motor. But, I mean, you know, that's not bad, I don't think. What's this? Who's this? Oh, God. It's a snap from Kevin. I would play it for you guys, but it's probably dangerous. Considering it's uh, almost 5 o'clock, so. Uh, let's see here. Hmm, <laughs> I don't know, not much else here, huh? So uh, let's move on up a year. Can I just go a year at a time? 
I guess I need to be looking for crackheads, don't I? I mean, I'm not necessarily just looking for the crack, the crackiest of the crackheads, you know. And uh, I, I, I am, I'm kind of dropping the ball there, guys. So I, I apologize. Um, come on, let's find a really good crackhead. I'm sorry. I wait a minute, but look at that. It's another good deal. Damn it. <sighs> So I saw this yesterday. Look at this thing. A 460 runs and moves under its own power. It needs tires and brakes. Serviced. You know, people use the word serviced. I have no idea what they're talking about. So <laughs> it's a, it probably just needs, a, you know, a hammer taken to the freaking calipers on the front. But look at that. Like, that is a good car. It doesn't say anything about a title, but still... Like, I would buy that to go smash into the Grand Marquis, but it's too damn nice. I'd feel bad. I can't do it. I can't do it. That's a good deal. The 460's got is probably worth a grand. You got a 460 and a C6, and then you got 4,000 pounds of scrap metal around it. So, yeah, it's not a bad deal. Not a bad deal. That one. I mean, not, not that you would just scrap it. How's the jug? The drag is wonderful. 460, you better live near a gas station. You would be shocked that they actually don't do that bad on fuel. They will haul that big car around all day and get 10 to 11 miles to the gallon. If it's tuned even somewhat correctly. But uh, you put that into a mid-size car, it, the, you have the displacement and the torque, and you're not using it necessarily. Uh, that's the, the beauty of it. It's so easy to drive. You just rest your foot on the pedal and go. Those engines are best at a mid-size car. Yeah, I saw that Coupe de Ville over there, SD mode, but a uh, little, little too much for me. Again, I'm, a, I'm, I don't know. I've just trained myself over the years to look at. I look at the price first, and then the car. And if the price is out of my league, I don't even bother looking at it. And that's not what I should be doing right now. I should be looking for the extravagant, you know, nut jobs on here, like maybe this one. Oh, personally signed by Paul and David from Starsky and Hutch. I don't know. Is that worth 30 grand? That's So it's a 74, so that's not a real Ford Starsky and Hutch Torino, is it? Because they only did those in 75 and 6. I don't know. You know what, Mr. Giraffe? You raise a good point. If I just show up in the Jag, I can just have it for free. I'll bring it back next Tuesday. What's this? Have over 50 cars, trucks, cab doors, dump trucks, and tractors for sale. I ain't got enough room to put all 50 here. But if you're interested in anything, shoot me a PM and I will get back with you ASAP. All right. Well, this might be kind of interesting, you know. Got the Beetle. That's a 58 Ford. Whoa. Prairie Grove, Arkansas. That's a two-door 58 Ford. Man, I'd be into that. Where's Prairie Grove, Arkansas? Not too bad. It's just south of Fayetteville. I don't think that's running and driving out of there. That might Oh my God, look at that. It's like Duel. You know, the Spielberg movie, Duel, with uh, McClintock. What, what's the, what was that actor's name? The guy who played, I don't know, McClintock. But it's a good movie, and you should watch it. Cool, little first series Ford Apache. Dennis Weaver, thank you. Let's see. Is that 55? The Buick. Salmon Buick. That's another good one. You know, Kevin wanted one of these. Isn't that a Buick? I don't know. It's in Upside Down Land. Apparently it's in Australia. But I might uh, have to send this to Kevin. 58 Chevy. I'd like, see, I'm a, 
For whatever reason, I like 58 Fords and 58 Chevys the best out of the 50s cars. For some reason. McLeod, you're right. Not McClintock. McClintock's a John Wayne movie. Sorry. My bad. Vextrit. Ever heard of a Dodge Lancer? Yes. It's a pretty popular compact car in the early 60s. It's a Mack dump truck. God, look at the dump truck on that dump truck. <laughs> and the Beetle. The Beetle would go good combined with that kit car we found earlier. Eric raises a good point that you don't actually have to spend any money if you have a Jag. Wonder what he wants for these. You know what? I'll message him. Uh, how much for 58 Ford? God, Dalton type 58 Chevy and the 56 Buick. But all right, nope, there's that. We will send this to Kevin. Do, do, do. There we are. Ow. All right, we've done the Lord's work today. Now, let's move on. What's this? Another 57 Fairlane? Did I already click on this? Oh, wow. $1,000 are best offer with a title. And it's much closer to me. What a good looking car that is. That's not that good looking. And I just lost all interest in that, actually. That's a shame. I like those cars so much. They got a lot of class, you know. Guitars and muscle cars. Love the channel. You, Junkyard Digs, and VGG got me started in my own revival and Project 74 F100. Great advice and tips. Here's your next project or more Torino parts. Thank you so much. I appreciate that a great deal, buddy. And uh, it'll definitely go to something. Probably beer. Keyboard sounds old enough to boat. Buddy, I got this baby on Amazon for $12. You just, you can't, I mean, you know, I it's kind of a jag thing. You know. Huh. 65 Cadillac, parts, car, oh yeah, Casey's, uh, from Casey's Customs sent this to me and he wants to drive something into my mercury and smash it into it and uh you know i was like dude that's 2500 bucks you don't just smash up 2500 bucks you crazy i mean i don't anyway uh i'm cheap not this not i mean not cheap enough to not buy this so that's an automatic not worth look do you guys remember the days when a coupe mustang was literally worthless can we have those days back? I mean, look at this thing. This thing's uh, that is this is a crackhead, no doubt. Or, I mean, like someone who inherited a car, it just doesn't know anything about them. So maybe uh, I don't know. Maybe it's like uh, I don't know. It, what is it? Six thousand dollar car? Seven thousand dollar car? I mean, it's not worth nothing, but it's not worth twelve thousand dollars. Twelve grand should buy up. I finished my '67 Mustang completely restored with all new sheet metal, done correctly, and new interior, black paint with a red C stripe and a roller 302. And I traded it for a C3 Corvette four, four years ago because I couldn't sell it for ten thousand dollars. It's just crazy. Pickles Projects. Thank you, amigo. Much appreciated. 99 cents a month. Gets you access to all videos early. And there's one on painting the step side right now. 
you're going to want to check that out ASAP. Uh, let's see here. No tire kickers know what I have. No low ballers know what I got. What are the other quotes? Everybody just pile in the quotes down there. What's this? 61 T-Bird. Oh, a hood off of it. Well, that's called a sled. Uh, so this is my process. Like when I'm looking for a car, this is what I'm looking at every freaking day. Uh-oh. That was the Kevin. <laughs> Kevin doesn't want any more cars. <laughs> I'm with him. I actually don't really want to buy any more cars either. But then I see things like this, and I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I need a new car. God, look at that. Okay, so it's an LTD, right? So, you know, it's not a Fairlane, it's not a Mustang, it's not a Torino, but it's a two-door, and it's an LTD, and you will never find a better driving car than a Ford Galaxy or LTD from about 70 to 70, I don't know, four-ish, 75. That is a good deal. Somebody needs to buy this. In fact, if you buy this car, I want you to let me know. In fact, I might buy this car. I mean, look at that. You talk about a driver, you know? It has the 400 in it, so that sucks. Because 400s are terrible, and I don't care what anybody says. Uh, I have two of them. I'm well aware of it. I've had six or seven in the past. They run. That's about it. It's pretty cool, though. That car is so worth it. All right. You know what I really need, though? I do need something to demolish with the 77 Mercury in a 1970s car chase. I still want to do that. I haven't forgotten about it. It just turned out that that damn LTD was too good to do it with. I drive that thing everywhere. So I can't do that. Um, so I'm going to be stuck. I might have to buy something else in it. I'm picky about what I want to buy to just smash into, uh, you know, the Mercury, like do a car chase stuff down the road, smacking each other and, you know, cool, like you know, vanishing point, dirty, Mary, crazy, Larry shots, things like that. It'd be awesome to do, but I'm not willing to do it to just anything. It's got to be a real pile of crap. Like that Fairlane. I mean, honestly, but. Hmm. 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 Not seeing a whole lot here. I'm not seeing a whole lot, guys. I need. A, I'm not seeing. I'm not even seeing any crackheads. To be honest with you, I'm just kind of rolling through it. I mean, everybody's too damn reasonable right now. Why? What do I got to do to make them become? Well, okay, here we go. Are you stupid? Sixty-three Fairlane. $19,500. Now, it's a nice car. It is a nice car. But, fully restored, V8 with 92,000 original miles. Okay, so the engine's not rebuilt, and you want top dollar for it. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I would never spend that amount of money on literally anything hey arthur the jaguar wasn't worth the money you think i don't see you in the comments there excuse me sir i have a jag okay the drag was worth every penny i spent you know why because i made a damn good video out of it that's why but also i got ripped off so you know Ooh, corvair where, where did i where did i miss the corvair I love Corvairs, but I only like 65 and up Corvairs. Yeah, see. Jesus Christ. Whoa, that's a Monza. No way. Dude, guys, this is a factory turbo Corvair.
look at that. I mean, it's a pile, but that's a very rare car. No pictures of the engine. Car is sat for a long time. Engine comes with not installed. Ah, they used it as yard art. How adorable, Karen. Well, no, I don't want that. I do not want that. No. Those are the ugliest cars. Ugh. I like 65 Corvairs. We can do that. Let's let's look for some Corvairs. So you, can, you guys could probably talk me in to going and buying one like right now. If we find a good one, I'll do it. Let's see here. All right, we're looking at 65 Corvair right now, but then I get distracted. Look at the duster. I hate, no, no Mopars. Uh-uh, not going to have them. Two 72 and 73 Impalas sold as a pair. I mean, there's your demo derby duo right there, but way too much money. I looked at this one earlier, but the guy, I tried to message the guy and he kept sending me audio recordings, and obviously can't. And it was sounded like woo, 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 like he had his teeth out, and or the meth had rotted them away. And uh, I don't. I'm like, I, right, you know what? I'm not even dealing with you. Like, if you can't communicate with people, I, I don't know. I, I'm not going to even bother waste my time. Uh, what on earth? I typed in Corvair, did I not? Oh, I just typed in 65. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. Sixty-five Chevrolet Classic. Oh my god, it's a convertible. Runs off an external fuel tank. Sixty-five hundred dollars. His name's Dakota Gay, so I mean. But you know, oh my, look at the patch. Look at the bodywork in this. Oh my God, guys. Look at, <laughs> look at the patch in the corner. He won $6,500 for this classic. I mean, they couldn't even cut it into a square. They just welded it right over the top. I mean, that is pathetic. Uh, okay, so, oh, remember all the, the 50 cars? No, not the Apache, dude. The 58 Chevy car. Wait a minute. He talks like he knows me. Is he watching or something? Huh. Always be polite to people that are decent and polite to you. You know what I mean? That's what Jesus said or something like that. The nice was really interested in the Ford. Thank you, though. Unless it's cheap. And cheap is the main priority. <laughs> so this guy's insane. And uh, yeah, that car is a good solid $2,000 car. $1,500 for this 58 Apache? Guys, somebody snag this thing. Wow. Okay, so this guy's super reasonable on his stuff. Wow. I'm a YouTuber. And I'm live with... How many people are in here? I gotta check my phone. The StreamYard won't tell me. 1,300 people. I'll pass it along to them. Okay, so if you guys, it's uh, it's in Arkansas, 1960 Thunderbird is the ad. 
even though I didn't see a T bird. But uh, you know, go check out that thing with that fifty eight Apache, fifteen hundred dollars. I mean, that's crazy. That's crazy cheap for an Apache. It doesn't happen anymore. All right, back to Corvairs. See the sixty two, like the what is it? The sixty to sixty four. It's just like, look at that thing. It's just like, bleh. let's design this. Here, I threw some shit on the wall, and it looked like this. Does not run, but turns over, and all the electronics seem to work properly. What electronics? There's like one wire. No title. Sixty-five Mustang. You know, my first car was a sixty-five Mustang. Hopefully, that's not it. Brianna Walsh, thank you so much. Twenty dollars. I appreciate you for the for the super sticker. Much appreciated. Oh, look at me! I'm a YouTuber. You know, guys. I'll I'll pin you. I will pin you. See it? Favorited. Love it. I'm like the hardest person in the world to troll because I'll just put your stuff up all I mean just right on the right on the front page. Look at that thing. 67 GTO hard top, no post, won't roll. Interesting ad, but uh, comes with no wheels. Comes with Kansas title. Never understood what the non-highway title uh, means in Kansas, but that's a good deal. <laughs> All right, business text. That's a good deal right there. I mean, it's a 67 GTO. Assuming it's real. Uh, Arthur Quinn, thank you so much. $10 Canadian. That's almost, almost 25 cents American. 67 Mustang. Hello. In peculiar. Why have I not seen you before? You're a, whoa, V8. This is semi-local to me. There's no motor in the car. Oh, you pulled it, idiot. Luxury interior package. I do have a thing for 67 and 8 Mustang Coupes. And fastbacks, but I can't afford them. I only can afford, you know. I can only afford Coupes at best. <sighs> do, do, do anyone else here from overseas? I'd be interested in seeing that myself. Because uh, I, I always like to see how many people come in from all over the world, you know, especially with that Jag video. And uh, so many people from the UK commenting on that. I just think it's cool. I don't know. I'm a man of culture now. How about the Triumph, the TR4A? Mm, yes. Mm, quiet. You haul. You load. You haul. I'm Borat again. I do not mean to be Borat. I was trying to be Clarkson. Can't do it. Wow. That's a gem right there. That's worth every bit of nothing. Hmm. Ooh, 67 Chevelle. Well, it's a Malibu. Actually, it's a 300. It's a cheapy cheapy. Oh, my God. Ow. Oof. That's called Fubar. Hate to see it. All right. Well, that didn't work. So the second generation Corvair was 65 to 69, I believe. I've had my eyes on this thing for a while. Yo, thanks, this old truck. I'm glad to do the Gran Torino videos because that's what I drive to work every day. Uh, so, you know, it really just benefits me. 
And, and that's why I do it. <laughs> Mickey Gloves says the Jag TM. But look at this beauty. I love this. It's so stupid. I mean, look at those flames. Look like they were drawn by a three-year-old in art class at preschool. But they're just terrible, and I love it. Look at the velour roll and tuck interior. I mean, oh, no. Oh. Yes, that's just stupid. God, it's so dumb. Joe, Jake, sorry, thank you for joining. Look at the, oh, look at the speakers and all the all the velour in the package compartment. Oh, that's just wonderful. Yeah, I would give five thousand dollars for that car today, but he doesn't want to negotiate. I have tried. So. The Low Butt Club. There he is again. What are you doing? The Jag. It's not the Jag. I have two Jags now. How many Jags does one man need? If not too many Jags, I can tell you that. Are you tired of the Jag yet? I thought you would have been tired of the Jag. After the Jag video, I would have thought that you would have been, you know... Just sick of hearing Jag over and over the Jag. And because I have a Jag, I can't help but mention that I have a Jag. Two dollars once Parker, you want me to you want me to 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 uh revive an O3 Chrysler Town and Country? <laughs> you know what? Nobody's done it. I'm in. Let's Let's see. Oh, Jules, your dad has a jack, huh? How many wives does he have? 63 Galaxy. You could see, the, he put the funnel in there so you could see the blow-by just pouring out of the engine. Matt Gordonock. I probably ruined your last name. I'm sorry, but... Euro, I couldn't do a car chase with an 03 Town and Country. It'd probably outrun that Mercury. That's a clean looking car. But he does say healthy 302 Windsor, and I don't, you know, I mean, it was literally pumping blow by out in the video. I don't think I'd call that healthy. And of course, it has the requisite $48 Chinese HEI distributor stabbed into the front of it. Not that I wouldn't do the same, but, you know. Uh, V8 car needs floor panels and all kinds of stuff. But I, I do like Mustangs. I really do. Jay Pastorelli owns a Jag. Well, well, I'm happy to join the club, good sir. Oh, God. Hot Rod. Okay, yeah, you, huh? Hot Rod 8983, yeah. Yeah, you warned me about the Jag. So this guy said he's going to kick me in the crotch if I ever said the Jag again, and now he's on his way. Bring it on. Your foot better be quicker than my Jag. 68 Grand Prix. Now, this is a unique car. If it's really a 68, I yes, it is. That is a, 60, a 67 or 8. Now, that thing is beyond effed, but the well, motor's in there, so that could be a 428 in that, 428 Pontiac. Probably not, because I think it would have badges on it. It is a 68, by the way. Uh, no title. I mean, I don't know. It's probably, where's Lebanon at? Lebanon is, uh, everything's far away. Why? But I would buy that. I think those are really neat cars. I mean, I like Pontiacs, so I'm, I'm pretty biased. So I bought JD a go-kart yesterday from a good buddy of mine. Uh, it's a uh, 05 Kia Spectra. And uh, I got it for basically free, and it runs. 
Would you guys watch me and JD turn a Kia Spectra into his go-kart? Would that be something you'd watch, or should I maybe like put that on my second channel? Ooh, a Monza. So I like Monzas. I want to. Uh, I want a fastback Monza. I don't know. There was a guy with a couple of Buick Skyhawks for sale uh, somewhere around here, but yeah. I think I will, Gerard, I think I will put it on the second channel just because it's a freaking Kia and nobody cares. But you'll see it, and we'll make sure to post that up so you guys can watch that video. It should be pretty entertaining. Look at this Alfa Romeo spider Volusi Intrasoima. I don't know. It's a new top, less, and oxblood leather interior. <laughs> Less than a year old. The top does not leak. It would need to be towed. The battery is completely dead. The battery's dead, so it needs towed. That makes sense. Yeah, no. Makes, uh... uh Second Amendment traits will be considered. Wow. That's illegal over state lines, but I'm not opposed. Hmm. I drive the hell out of that thing. Second channel is PBG Extra. There's a little bit on there. There's really nothing on there. Otherwise, I'd promote it more. But uh, I don't know. Here. You guys got to read the descriptions of the videos, guys. I'm sorry. There's only a, a couple. I mean, you're not really missing out on much, guys. I'm not, uh, not, uh, I don't push it because I don't put anything on there. But I, I have the intention of putting more like just the day to day crap that we do because I'm doing stupid stuff at all times, you know, and why not? I guess. But, uh, thanks, guys. 404, why? Did I type it wrong? Oh, no. Some people are sub like, some people are 404-ing. Not all of us can own Jags and know how to read. Joke's on you. <laughs> I have no idea how to read. Just search for PBG Extra, and you'll find it. And then keep an eye out for, I don't know, a week or so, and we'll, we'll do something with this Kia. It's it, it'll be kind of fun. So uh, this would be hilarious to put back on the road. I mean, look at the wheels. Those are really neat. Those are like homemade, maybe. Looks like they come right off the double wide. It's right, Spiky Mikey. <laughs> you don't have to read to drive a Jag. What would you read? You're just going to steal anyway. I mean, borrow. <laughs> do, 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 do LS swap. Blame. Do, 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 do. You know, I, my first car was a 65 Mustang, and I, I do have a little affinity for it. Has a running four cylinder. Well, now I'm interested. Let's. What does this four cylinder look like? <laughs> Is it a tractor four-cylinder? What the hell? This guy's had this car for sale for years. No, no, this is a different one. It's a convertible. That's even worse. Cheap, though. How about you? 66 Mustang, $1,000. Six-cylinder car, automatic, doesn't run, everything's there. It will run. That's rusty. That thing's way more work than it's worth. Look at what is what is this? I don't know what's going on. Look at that. I mean, look at the bird catcher on that thing. Oh, oh. 
Now, hold on a second. Is that... It's a Cleveland. Well, oh, God. What does he want for... That's a... I don't know. That's not that bad. He did start and ran, leaked badly from the accelerator pump, couldn't get it to fire up. Uh, rag joint needs replaced, can't turn the wheels. Mm, yikes. Uh, hey, Zach, thanks so much, man. Appreciate you. No title, though. That's a killer. It doesn't do any good anywhere but Kansas. This has been for sale forever. Alex, you have a 62 T-Bird for sale? Or if you have a T-Bird for sale, please uh, DM me or something on Instagram. Or uh, you can even email me. But uh, I would be interested. Look at that. Hey, come on. There's a vet. thousand dollars dirt cheap that would go great smashing into the mercury i mean i have a 75 vet you know and so i i do have a little affinity for them but ah yes that's a builder tinker cat garage welcome welcome aboard i'm guessing you have a youtube channel maybe you guys should go check out tinker cat garage who knows could be really good stuff i have no idea that thing is beyond gone. Hello, Goose. Want to look up Ramblers? Ramblin', Gamblin', Ramblers? I'm not a big Rambler guy. There was a Mercedes with a small block swapped into it somewhere around here. I thought about buying that because reasons. 76 Plymouth Valeri. Oh, God. Great pictures. Great screenshots of someone else's conversation. I mean, you can't even steal a photo correctly and you're going to sell the car. No, I don't think so. Uh, let's see here. All right, Alan, welcome aboard to the Low Buck Club. Much appreciated. 99 cents a month gets you early access to all the videos. Do a GMC van. Alex, I have a GMC van. It's a four-wheel drive van, and we will be building it as soon as the step side is done or close to it. Uh, that's going to be a major build. I've been accumulating even more parts for it. Slowly but surely, we will have everything to create the Snaggin' Wagon. Uh, not a lot of ramblers. Nothing really catches my eye. I mean, look how this one kind of does. Little Nash Rambler. Beep, beep, beep. I don't know how that song goes. That is a fresh Krylon rebuild of the entire car. Kind of impressive, actually. Hey, they're all four doors. They're all lame. There's two door. Wagon's kind of cool, though. No title. Bad engine. And that's pretty cool. That'd be cool to put a V8 in or something. Huh. Arthur, thank you for joining. Much appreciated. What else, uh, what else we got? What else would we want to be looking at? Like, uh, Come on, someone give me something good. Oh, Don, thank you for joining. Guitars and muscle cars. I do have a working relationship with LMC, yeah, but it's a per part basis. A cougar? Sure. You gotta be careful when you search for cougars, but you know, it could be could get sketchy. Had a few people ask for cougars. And yes, they are all turnkey, of course. But here we go. All right, we're on the hunt of crackheads. What is this? Ah, 
There's the girl. That's after she hit something. Um. <laughs> what? What is this? What is this? Uh, anyway, okay. Uh. There are no cougars really for sale. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, somebody said Studebaker. I don't do Mopars, whoever asked about a Coronet. Not into it. They're probably my least favorite cars on Earth. Other than, like, a Jag. But, you know. Really? I would have thought Studebaker would have brought some up. Is this a bullet nose? Yeah. Oh, he has several of them. 64... Uh, 54 champion, 600 bucks. Land cruiser, 1500. Well, somebody was, somebody was into the, uh, into the Studebakers in the comment section there. I guess you need to go find this guy because uh, I don't know anything about them, but they are pretty cool cars. I would definitely drive one. Like this is a champion, right? The smaller cars that you, no, that's the land cruiser. I don't know. I can't tell the difference between them. Cool cars, though. I'm going to look for Thunderbird. Thunder turd. And then we could name it the Thunder Chicken. So I've looked at that one. Uh, this is 63. That's going to be round tail lights in 63. I actually prefer the bar tail lights because I'm weird. Just FYI, guys, I'm probably going to have to knock off in about fifth, yeah, about 20 minutes. So enjoy it while you can. Make sure you stick around. Stay to the very end. Who knows? There might be a special surprise. No, no there won't. But that there might be. No, there won't. Um, wow, not much out there for Thunder Turds. I always kind of like these. Cooter's Garage, probably just got demonetized for saying that, says uh, car censored addiction. Luke Turner, yes, I do want another LTD. Do you have one? Please DM me on, uh, you know, Instagram, Facebook, Whatever. I mean, email. I'll find it. I'll find it. I do need something, but not nice. Something garbage to smash into the mercury. I mean, that's still going on. Oh, hello. Hello. Okay. 65. Needs a master cylinder and brakes. Ran great with park two years ago. Starter is stuck. He... Ah, I don't know. I really want... Hey, thanks for joining, James. I really want, uh, you know, something that somebody hasn't jacked with. And somebody's been jacking. You know what I mean with this. Jules, uh, 86 T-Birds had the Fox 5.0. They had a 302. Or, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Look at that. It's a dead ringer for mine. It's basically the same thing. I mean, mine needs a top, but, uh, you know, it's pretty much the same car. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How much is this? Five grand? Runs and drives good? Top is newer? That's a good deal. That is a really good deal. Yo, Dirt, I have done Galaxies on the channel before. They're LTDs, but it's the same car. Uh... 
Riley, if they're offering you $1,200 for an $8,000 car, it could be that your $8,000 car is actually a $1,200 car. Ah, here's a genius. 68 Thunderbird with the 460. I'm pretty sure that wasn't even around in 68. It was around in 69. Uh, originally, the car was 429 Cobra Jet. Uh-huh. There's one of those Cobra Jet Thunderbird, you know, luxury cars. It happens all the time. Uh, yep, yeah, that's a turd. Pig, pig, pig mobile. Oh. The spiky bikey, that LTD was nice. 302, leaked antifreeze. What does that mean? Don't know anything about it. Good donor, no keys, no title. See, I don't know. Is there any interest in these things? I like them. I don't know if there's a ton of interest as far as like it would be worth me going and making a video out of. All right. Um, what else? All right. What else? What else will we look for? A Mitsubishi Colt Vista. No, I am good. Oh, baby. First time I could watch your stream was recommended by Sleeper Dude. Awesome. Well, tell Josh I said thanks. Uh, Trans Am. I'll just look for Trans Am in general. How about that? I mean, I, I don't know. Again, I'm not really a, a, I'm not a F body guy. I'm just not. I don't like Camaros. I, I don't like turd gins. If I were to own a turd gin, it would probably be a GTA. This is not a GTA. But once they have all they all have small block Chevy set up, it's just you know, whatever. They're all the same car. Boring. Hmm. Uh, yeah, lots of turd gins. Yet again. Ah, yes. How about the roof of a Trans Am for $1,200? I'm pretty sure I could buy a car for that much. It's an AMX. I don't know why that showed up, but no title. Yeah. Just not for me. I don't think so. I'm a little bit picky. Not that picky, obviously, because I own like 18 cars. But a little bit picky about when I buy a car. It's got to speak to me. It's got to be something I want. I won't just buy something because I don't want it. I've done that before, and I hate doing that. Like, if I buy something like, oh, this will make a good video, and then, you know, I just hate working on it. I'd rather buy something that, like the Stepside Chevy. I love that truck. It's going to be so cool. It's been, I have hundreds of hours into that truck. But it's worth it because I like it, you know. That is a pretty good deal, I have to say. Three grand. It has a 350 Pontiac in it. It's out of an earlier car. But, oh, no. Oh, no. I know where that engine's from. No way. No way. Where is this? There's no way it wound its way down there. You gotta be shitting me. There's lime green paint on this engine. Where is it? Right there. I had a turd 350 Pontiac with this exact AC bracket on it, a lime green dipstick, and I had painted the engine lime green. I had it in my Le Mans forever. That engine was wasted. And I sold it to somebody down south. That could be the motor out of that. You don't want that one. It's supposed to have brakes gone through, not far from driving. Currently has no spark, but turns over. Well, that's a 10-minute fix. It's not bad. It's really worth that. That is that is a, that's a good deal. Somebody ought to buy that. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah. Oh, there's a barn find. 75 Formula Firebird. Are you a crackhead? You might be a crackhead. 15 grand for this, huh? I can see the about 8 inches of the quarter panel is missing. That's uh that's nice. Yep. That's crackhead. That's a maybe 6 7,000. I know they always say, well, you could always go lower on price. Well, not if you're stupid to start with. The Cutlass Supreme. The two-door, $3,900. It's in Iowa. Uh, 354 barrel, three, yeah, turbo 400 probably in that. Or best offer, I mean, running, driving, two-door Cutlass. It's a good deal. $3,900. Probably pick it up for three if you really worked on the guy. It's kind of a pile, but, you know, everything's fixable. And by fixable, I mean butchable. Somebody keeps saying 70 and a half Falcon. You know that's a Torino, right? <laughs> or a Fairlane. Uh, ooh, here, here's a mullet mobile. 78 Camaro. It's got the louvers. No motor, no trans. Yep. That's a dirt track car. I'll do uh, Perino. And then I'm going to have to go get a beer. So you guys hold down the fort for a second. I ran out of beer. So just give me a second. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming right back. Good God. Uh, how old am I this year? I'll be 30 in September. Mm. Oh, yeah, this guy sold this Torino before I could get to it. It was a Torino sport roof. Just like mine. How about a Fiat? Maybe that's what I need in my life. You know, something to make it even more difficult. I already bought the V12 Jag to go with my other Jag that's also a piece of garbage. So, you know, why not? Opal? Mm, we could go German. I'm not into opals, though. Da, 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 da. LNS Garage. Hey, thank you. International pickup. Well, all right. I'm not seeing a lot for Torino, so why not? Mm -hmm. uh, we'll go for the International. Hang on one second, guys. Somebody sent me a text. I got to answer it. Sorry. There we go. Look at that burger. Hardee's. It looks pretty good, man. You know, Hardee's burgers always look really good in the ads. They never are. They're a little scout. That's pretty cool. Who's that little four cylinder in those? Yep. Two grand for all of this? That's not bad. Not my thing, but. You know, there is an international that I would rock, and uh, that would be a travel all, like an 80 travel all. That'd be really cool. A 304 in this one. But it's a Scout 2. There's no way that's worth $6,500, right? I mean... Yeah, this is a travel all ambulance. This guy's had this for a minute. It's been for sale for 13 weeks now. 
Probably because he wants nine thousand dollars for an international ambulance. And it says runs and drives some. What does that mean? Oh, let's see here. I'm at a Kenworth. What are you? You're a big truck. The five international truck dump bed. Does not have the original motor. Has a Ford motor in it. What is this thing? Eagle Amphibious Vehicle. 200. It's four-wheel drive, and it articulates. You put a propeller on for faster travel on water. Really? Needs transmission fixed or replaced. Well, I don't know how to do that. Small engines are just like nothing. I, I don't know how to do anything with them. If I can't just put gas in it and it runs, I'm, I'm done. I don't do small engines. I do big engines. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on here, but... Uh, that's, I'm not seeing really anything. I, other than that Lincoln we saw earlier, I'm not really seeing anything I really, really, really want. I'm going to put the Kia engine in it, and I can just make the Kia float. Makes way more sense. That's a pretty good idea, actually. <laughs> uh, anyway. What else? Somebody keeps saying Zephyr. All right, you're going to find, like, one... Yeah, it's not going to happen, guys. Sorry. Uh, Dotson. Yeah, there we go. Kevin's got a couple. He actually offered that uh, 280 up to me. Mighty cheap. But I don't. I just don't want any more cars, really. Huh, that's, uh, that's pretty rough. Mega fix it. It would be I would be useless in a small town workshop. They do big and small engines, and neither one of them well. Hmm. Well, two forty engines froze. Yeah, How about a two sixty. Needs electrical work for the motor to run. See, I don't want to die. I, if I if I had one of these, that gets bloop, pulled out of there, and a small block gets dropped in. I actually prefer the 280Z over the 240Z. Looks wise. If I could get one that was running, maybe. Ah, they have a Ford Torino engine and tranny to drop in. What the hell does that mean? There's no such thing as a Ford Torino engine, you idiot. There's a small block Ford, or, you know, 289, 302, 351, 351 Cleveland, 351 modified, 400. I mean, <laughs> some people just, maybe they shouldn't have them saying. How about this? I like that a lot. Now, I don't know if it's worth five grand. These car oh god, we found one, guys. We found him. Here he is. A, it's a really cool car. I love it. But also, these cars are shooting up in value. Look at any recent auction, and it'll justify the price. Okay, so you watch TV once, and uh, therefore, it's worth five thousand dollars. I mean, I don't. It's nice. 
I would happily give $2,500 for that car, and i do it right now. But I wouldn't do it for five grand. So if you're in here, uh, you know, you're, you know, put down, if you're not on the crack right now, uh, you know, we could, we could probably work something out for 2,500 bucks. Uh, 7340 Econo line, man, that's going to be tough to find. I, probably not very many of those. Do, do, do. Hey, Vault, thank you for joining. Much appreciated. Oh, is that a Torino station wagon? It is. 74 Torino two-door wagon. Really? Is that factory? There's no way that's factory, right? That's a ranchero with a uh, with it molded in, right? That's worth twenty five hundred bucks. That's a good deal. Where is? God damn it! I'll think about it. I don't send it to my dad. Problem is, I, I just don't have the time to drive two states away. I have a job. I have a real job. I mean, I'm not full-time YouTube guy yet, anyway. So, uh, I mean, I, I make enough money off of YouTube. I could, but I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not willing to take that jump. You know what I mean? Like, I got JD to worry about. I can't just be out here just willy-nilly quitting my job and, you know, just saying the hell with it. Uh, I can't do that, so. so. It's a time thing more than a money thing most of the time. Man, why did that Torino wagon... Why would that... So I type in Torino. Where was that Torino wagon? I search for Torino like every day because I'm looking for parts and stuff like that. And where is it? Whoa. How about a smash Torino? He's just parting it out. What an idiot. Just push the roof back up and fix it. 71 Torino GT. Most of one. I'm gonna... Alright, one sec, guys. I am... Um, I'm gonna message the Torino guy. And see if it has a title. Just bear with me here. I hate to be that guy who's asking for pictures and titles of everything, but, you know. Here's a 73 Torino Sport. You could have one like mine. He's a... Uh, this guy's crazy. $4,500 for this. I gave four for mine from Kevin, granted, but Kevin also gave four for it and drove it home. So they're not worth that much. That's, yeah. So, but why? I, where is that Torino at? You guys better not go buy that. I'm, I'm thinking about it a lot right now. You're probably, you're witnessing history. What the hell is this thing? That is not set up for a, for a VW. It's set up for a small block. Oh, that would be cool. No, Dalton. No, but maybe Torino Wagon. Might need that. God dang it. Why did I have to find that? Ugh. <sighs> Well,
I don't know. 70 GTO, 8 grand. 400 motor, no trans. I guess that's probably worth it. Maybe five. Ah, oh, yeah. Certified fuel cell. Yeah, I know it's called a custom. It's a freaking... It's a... It's a Torino. It's not called a Ford Custom. That's stupid. I still can't find it. Ford Custom is a cheap car in the 50s and 60s. That name was gone. Whoa. Look at that thing. God dang. Look at that. You imagine the amount of shagging you could do in that shag? In your jag? No, wait, no, not, it's not a jag. There it is. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, I knew I, I had it, but for me to show you, I got to find it in this uh, tab. So I asked him for more pictures and if it has a title. It does say clean title right here, but sometimes people just click that. And just like they make up names for their car. But uh, yeah, that's kind of a pile, but I think I'm going to buy it. I might need that. Anyway, I think I'm going to jump off of here. I got to go and get something to eat. But, uh, oh, it's fun, as always, to go hunting for the crackheads. But, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll, uh, let me see what this guy says. I mean, I don't want to, I'm not going to buy something if it's just a rusty pile. I don't think he's messaged me back yet. Uh, one of you guys has a couple LTDs. It, it kind of depends if you guys are close or not, but I don't know. I'll look. I'll look into that if you guys were watching and, and sent me a message. I'll, I'll get back to you. So, thanks for hanging out. We'll see you soon. And uh, next week's video will be the Silver Dollar Chevy getting painted uh, and uh, doing that at home in the barn. See it now if you're a Low Buck Club member. If you joined today, make sure you go watch that and you know get your uh, 99 cents worth. And uh, then uh, the next video after that will be my Le Mans with the UMI suspension kit. Uh, just got that done. And uh, you know, make sure you guys keep all your fingers and stay safe tomorrow on the Fourth of July. And you know, go uh, go exercise your uh, your uh, God given right to blow shit up. So see you guys. How do I end broadcast?